Hey guys, I'm Megan, the lead spiritual advisor with the Relationship Psychics. And today I'm gonna to be showing you how you can read your own aura. I'm really excited because we're gonna to cover today not only what auras are really all about, but also how you can start to see auras for yourself. But first, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. If you're interested in hearing all of my future readings, tips, and tricks on things like spirituality, love, relationships, astrology, and more. Basically, this channel was made for you, so you can get all the answers that you're looking for and you can manifest your best life. Oh, and also make sure to click the notification bell as well so you don't miss any of our future uploads. Anyway, I just wanted to say welcome to all of my new and returning friends. I seriously love you guys so much and I'm excited for you to watch today's video on how to read your own aura. All right, so I wanted to start off with what an aura actually is. What I like to do is start with something that most of us are pretty familiar with, angels, particularly angels' halos. Right now, I know you're probably picturing a cartoon style angel with a little gold crown that's floating on top of their head, but a halo has a much deeper meaning than just the cartoon style that we now see today. The thing is, is that a halo has actually been depicted through artwork and writings throughout all of history. It was drawn to represent a divine light, something surrounding individuals who possessed that holy universal energy. You can see it in examples such as angels or saints or Mary or Jesus. And on the Eastern side of things, you can see it in Buddhist saints or Buddha himself or Hindu deities. They all are drawn with halos, or in other words, auras. So you might now be wondering, okay, what actually is it though? What is an aura? Well, an aura is your personal energy that radiates from within you. It's your life force that reflects all aspects of your body, mind, and spirit. It connects us to the greater energy of the universe and the creator, as well as the energy of others around us. And that is why we are all connected. That's just deep, bro. That's deep. Even if you've never thought about auras or have thought you've read an aura before, you probably have subconsciously. Think about it. When you first meet a person, do you sometimes get an eerie feeling or maybe a feeling like you've known this person before or you really just instantly connect with them? That's you subconsciously reading that person's aura. Auras are seen in different shades, each representing something different. These different colors and shades are actually linked to the colors of the chakras. For example, a pink aura relates to things such as tenderness, romantic love, compassion, and care, while an orange aura relates to things such as creativity, personality, uniqueness, and motivation. So anyway, I thought this would be kind of fun. How about you guys comment down below what color you think my aura is, and I will let you know what my color aura is and if you got it right in the next video. All right, so now that we better understand what an aura actually is, let's now take a look into reading auras and what that might look like. For me, it was back in college when I realized that I first had the ability to read other people's auras. See, up until that point, I had seen auras through angels and past relatives and other spirits, but I didn't really quite know what they were at the time and I never really knew what an aura was in the first place, so I never really made that connection. But then as I started studying and getting deeper into my energy and healing, I started realizing that there was such thing as auras and that other people could actually read people's auras. And since I have been blessed with other spiritual gifts, I considered at the time, well, maybe I also have this gift, so I should try it. And once I did, I was amazed because I could actually read auras. And I started reading for fun, you know, my friends and families and boyfriends, and a lot of people were amazed. And, you know, some people were skeptical and some people just thought it was fun and funny. But basically I started doing that and I was like, wow, this is really cool that I'm able to see other people's auras. But something that's annoying is that I can read everyone else's, but I don't even know what my aura looks like. So I actually did more research and I discovered a method and way to read my own aura. And that's what I wanna share with you guys today. Okay, so step one to reading your own aura is to find a mirror. It doesn't have to be a full size mirror, but it has to be a substantial mirror, maybe like a mirror in a bathroom or in your bedroom or 
just somewhere where you can stand in front of it and really look at your own reflection. You should also make sure that it's not pitch black or way too blinding bright. You wanna make sure it's kind of somewhere in the middle. So just some natural light, some dim light, anything in that range is good. Now, step two is to say a quick prayer for guidance. So this is really important because as I'm going through my day-to-day -day life, I'm not just constantly seeing everyone's aura. Basically, I have to normally set that intention first. So what I do is I say a quick prayer, something along the lines of, Dear God, I am so grateful for your presence among all living beings and your ability to move through them through your infinite wisdom and light. Please give me the ability to see your energy and presence in all things and let me use that wisdom and guide me so I may use that for the greater good. Amen. Something again, simple and short, but something again that really shows, you know, gratitude and humbles you and allows you to really manifest this gift. You don't have to say this prayer out loud. You can just meditate it quickly to yourself while you're staring in the mirror. Step three is to set that intention through an affirmation. So for example, you might wanna say something like, I believe I have the gift and ability to see auras. And you're gonna to wanna to say that around three times and you're gonna to wanna to firmly, firmly believe what you are saying to yourself, okay? So when you say, I believe I have the gift and ability to see auras, each time you wanna say that directly with a lot of belief and a lot of energy behind it. Step four to reading your own aura is to concentrate probably more deeply than you have in your entire life. You don't wanna think about anything else. You wanna clear your mind of everything else and you wanted to focus all of the energy towards your head. So by that, I mean, I want you to literally just think as hard as you can and think of all your energy just flowing up to your head. And what you're actually going to feel, at least something that I feel when this happens, is I actually feel a buzzing sensation in my head. And it'll almost feel like you're kind of just channeling all of that energy at once. It's like a pinpoint on your third eye chakra. And as soon as you do that, again, you'll feel a little bit of a slight high, almost like a slight buzzing in your head. That means you're channeling all of that energy there. So once this happens, then you can move on to step five. Step five is actually kind of funny. And when I first read about this technique, I was like, what? I was a little confused, but it actually really, really helps. So for step five, after you have all of that focus and concentration, what you're gonna do is you're gonna cross your eyes. And this is where it kind of looks funny, but you're gonna cross your eyes and it's going to basically relax all of the constraints that your natural vision and your natural day-to-day -day life really really cause you to have. So basically you're relaxing your body, relaxing your vision and allowing your intuition and the spirit energy to take over what you physically normally see and ignore. Basically when you're relaxing your eyes, but you're focusing your brain and your mind and your spirit, what's going to happen is you're going to be able to see things in the spirit realm and in the energy forces that we normally overlook because again, you're not so immune to it you're kind of in a relaxed state. And you know, when you're more open, you're more able to see these things. Basically step number six is that you're going to direct your gaze towards where your head ends and where the mirror begins. So basically that outline of your, of your head is where you're going to direct your gaze. And within the next few minutes, it might take you a little bit longer. It might take you a little bit shorter, but you should start to see a color, kind of like a light appear. So step seven is once you see this light, you wanna take note of what color it is. I remember at first when I started looking and seeing my own auras, I would always you know, see it and then just think, oh, green. And then I would look back to reference kind of what green actually means and I'd be like, wait, there are 10 different shades of green. I don't remember now what my, what my aura looked like and I have no idea now what that means. So just try to take a mental picture of it if you can. Kind of look, is it milkier? Is it more clear? Is, it, is there energy flowing through it or does it look more you know, still? what exactly it looks like, try to take that picture mentally in your mind so you can kind of reference it, you know, when you are doing further research. After step seven, congratulations, you now have successfully read your own aura. And do not get discouraged if you can't do it the first few times. That's totally normal. And it's something that you are going to want to just continue to practice. So just continue practicing this method as well as combining that with prayer and meditation. Keep practicing, keep meditating, keep praying and soon enough, you will be able to read your own aura. Anyway, that is it for my video on how to read your own aura. 
Remember to comment down below what your guess is for the color of my aura. I'm really interested to see if you guys get it right. Also, make sure to check out our Instagram as well as our website because we have a ton of amazing psychic services that I think you guys will really enjoy. One service in particular is our psychics will actually draw your soulmate for you and do a very detailed reading and sketch. So it's really amazing. And our psychics are truly, truly talented. So if you're interested in getting a sketch of your soulmate, make sure to check out the link below in the description box. All right, guys, I loved sharing this with you today and I'm really excited to hear how it goes for everyone. So thank you again so much for joining me and supporting me and this channel and love all of you guys so much. Thanks guys. Bye.